Dear students, I would like to present to you the properties of the joint cumulative distribution function. In the case of two random variables, capital X and capital Y, you already know that the joint CDF is given as follows. Capital F of the random vector XY at the point small x, small y is actually the probability of capital X being less than or equal to small x and capital Y being less than or equal to small y. Ye jo bunyadi definition hai, iske baad let us focus on the properties of the joint CDF. As you can see on the screen, there are six properties. The first one reads as follows. Marginal CDF of X, capital F of X at the point small x is equal to capital F of the random vector XY at the point X infinity. The second one, the marginal CDF of Y, capital F of Y at the point small y is equal to capital F of the random vector XY at the point infinity y. And the third one, capital F of the random vector xy at the point infinity infinity is equal to 1. Iske baad, fourth, fifth or sixth properties jo hain, I would like to discuss them with you at this moment in time in some detail. The fourth property reads as follows. Capital F of the random vector xy at the point minus infinity comma y is equal to zero. And at the same time, uh, capital F of the random vector xy at the point x comma minus infinity is equal to zero. Ye dono jo hain, they are equal to zero. Or agar aap is pe ghor kare, and also if you draw the three dimensional space, one axis depicting the random variable x, another axis depicting the random variable y, and the third axis depicting small f of xy. Uske baad, if you consider the point minus infinity on the x-axis, you will then realize that this property is correct and that the probability of capital X being less than or equal to minus infinity has to be equal to zero. Similarly, if you, after drawing that diagram, consider the point minus infinity on the y-axis, again, it will be easy for you to realize that the probability of y being less than or equal to minus infinity is equal to zero. Even if you do not draw any diagram, even then you can understand. Is liye minus infinity se or kam to possible nahi hai na? So we cannot have uh, x being less than or equal to minus infinity or y being less than or equal to minus infinity. If these are impossible events, then obviously um, that probability and that overall thing has to be equal to zero. So this is property number four. Ab aye property number five pe focus karte hain. It says that the probability of capital X being greater than X1 and less than or equal to X2 along with the random variable Y being greater than Y1 and less than or equal to y2. This particular probability can be found 
by the following formula. The formula involving the joint CDF. And what is that formula? Capital F of the random variable vector xy at the point x2, y2 minus capital F of the random variable vector xy at the point x1, y2 minus capital F of the random vector xy at the point x2, y1 plus capital F of the random vector xy at the point x1, y1. I would like to advise you that if you have any confusion, then you the Bunyadi definition of capital F. Ki, wo aap isme insert kare, thoda se is pe work out kare, and you will find that it is correct. Last but not the least, I would like to focus on uh, property number six. And this one reads as follows. If capital X and capital Y are independent random variables, then the joint CDF is equal to the product of the marginal CDFs. Yani, capital F of the random vector xy at the point small x, small y will be equal to capital F of the random variable x at the point x multiplied by capital F of the random variable y at the point small y. I repeat that this will happen if capital X and capital Y are independent random variables. So these are the properties of the joint cumulative distribution function.